Great deal learners, in the trial and improvement video, I have told that I will be telling you how to find out an answer for quadratic or cubic equation in a minute. So that's what we are going to see you today. Suppose if you did not watch the trial and improvement method or the video, I will give you the uh, link of the video in the description. First watch that, then come here how to find out the equation in a minute. Um, so here I'm going to teach you that how you have to find out the quadratic equations answer But uh, it will give you that only the answer the steps parts You have to depend on the method what I have told before in the previous video uh, So maybe this step you can use it for identifying where is the answer is or else maybe whether your answer is correct or not to check that you can use this um, This option is available only in the calculators of Casio fx uh, 991 ms or else es plus es in this variant it is available if your calculator is uh, 82 ms then you will not have that option uh, in 991 ms you'll be having a mode button so you have to click this button keep on so that uh, in this uh, screen you can see that all the eight options are there in a single screen but in the 991 ms it is a small screen so that it will be giving only two options in the immediate screen then again if you press mode once again then it will give you that another two then again press then it will give you that another another options the total eight or nine options it will give you so since this uh, calculator has options of selecting all the options in a screen so when since i'm clicking only once i'm getting all the options in a single screen so i have to select uh, equation so that the respective button is five so i should click five first if i click five then uh, i'm getting this screen it has four options in it whatever the button if i click one two three for any of the four then i will be selecting any one of this option so the first one is a simultaneous equation with I mean a linear equation with two variable the second one is linear equation with three variable the third one you can see it is x square x constant so yes this is what the quadratic equation is so I have to press the button 3 so once I press uh, the button 3 but the, I'm getting into the screen so it is asking me the values of a b c so you should know what R A B C R. I think you can remember this page uh, if you have seen that uh, previous video you will be able to remember it. So this equation we reframed it into x square minus x minus 7 equals to 0. So this equation you have to compare with the form of a x square plus b x plus c. So this is the standard form and if you compare it here uh, the place of a nothing is there which means coefficient of x square is nothing but we won't say that is nothing a equals 1 and b equals uh, negative 1 here along with the sign you should take and c equals to negative 7 so these are the inputs we have a equal to 1 b equal to minus 1 c equal to minus 7 so this is what from the equation you have to get the values of a b c and if you substitute in the calculator you will be getting Let's go to the calculator. So we came to know that what are the ABC values are. So in the previous question, we got A values 1. So just click 1 and give equal symbol. Then it will go to B. Then B is negative 1. So minus sign and 1. Then equal symbol. Then again C. C we have seen that it is uh, negative 7. And if you give equal symbol, then that's it all the values are uh, entered into the calculator and again if you press equal symbol it is giving this answer maybe you might feel it it's weird but no problem if you click this SD button it will give you the decimal answer you can see it that answer is 3.19 and this is what actually exact answer is but uh, they asked us in one decimal place so that you can round this answer and you can give that as 3.2 uh, whether your answer our answer is correct or not in the previous video you can check and comment suppose you will consider this is what our equation is so again here you have to compare a x square plus b x plus c so clearly you will get to know that a is 1 because coefficient of x square net no element number is there 
and b equals 8 and c equals 4 so these are the values if i give us input then uh, you can get to know that what answer i am getting yeah we'll go to the next question so here a value directly here after we can give a is nothing but coefficient of x square it is 1 and uh, b is 16 and c is 58 then if we go to fourth question uh, actually here we have to rearrange it minus x square plus 3x plus 9 equals to 0 so a itself minus 1 b is 3 and c is plus 9 if you give this as input then you'll be getting the answer um, so you can check these numbers in the calculator and you can get to know whether our answers are correct or not you can check and then you can comment if you are wrong uh, ensure that we are uh, uh, you have to round the answer and check it here because this answer we will be give we have given that answer as whole number but in calculator you will be getting a decimal so if we go to the last one it is cubic equation so before that we will check one more quadratic equation and come back uh, yeah maybe way better we can uh, check this minus 139 let's go to the calculator so actually we are in the previous screen to go to the uh, input screen we just have to click this ac button so directly we are entering here uh, the values what we have seen for the previous question is a is negative one so click negative even this minus also you can use for negative so negative one is the first number and b value is 3 and c value is plus 9 after giving all this input if i give again equal symbol it's giving me one answer uh, it's not in the decimal form if i click this sd button i'm just getting 4.85 and i should give the answer as whole number so that 4.85 you round to the whole number it's going to be 5 5 is one of the answer yes so we have checked it now we can get to know how we have to go back to the screen and we know if you press this ac it will take us to this but next question is a cubic one how to check the cubic one um, so how by how we have to go back actually you have to clear this mode to clear this mode uh, you just have to check where the clr option clear option is there maybe it's same as clear the screen in uh, uh, c language so to use the clr we have to use this yellow color option actually so shift and 9 if i press it is asking me whether the setup has to be cleared or memory or all if as of now if i uh, change the setup that is enough so if i give, i have to give actually equal simple now i should press this ac key now actually i have to go to same equation so uh, once i'm clicking this mode i'm coming to this five equation and it's actually a cubic if it's cubic i should go to the four uh, so maybe you might see that the same numbers are there but what is the difference between square and i mean quadratic and cubic let's see first of all we will go to the question and we will take all the inputs and come back to the calculator again here now we are in the cubic equation so you can compare this with ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d so one more number is extra here uh, since we worked with quadratic it is going to be very easy so a is 1 by 2 or you can even consider as 0 0.5 it's up to you b is negative 5 c is 1 and d is 4 so we have to find the answer for this so we have taken all the inputs what are the a b c d values if i'm good in this that's it we'll go to the calculator and check whether your answer is correct or not so now i have to solve a cubic equation so i'm pressing mode and a five equation and in this fourth option cubic um whatever the numbers i have got for a is a is actually 0.5 or 1 by 2 i can give like this 1 divided by 2 this is also i can give and in your calculator also it will give that option like this then uh, it has directly taken that 0.5 b is negative 5 c is 1 now you can see the d button is it is actually 4 and if i give equal symbol it's giving 9.709 so this is the one answer and even if we are rounding this answer to the whole number it is 10 so i think our answer is correct maybe you can check 
So the second answer, how to get the second number? Again, if you press the equal symbol, it will give that it is 1.064, and the whole number is 1, and another one is minus 0 0.77. So if I round this, I will be getting minus 1. So minus 1, 1 and 10 are the numbers. Maybe if I give equal, it's asking me then values and directly giving the answers 9.7, 1.06, minus 0 0.77 are the three answers. So all the three answers, even for quadratic, you will get two answers. You can check whether your answer is correct or not, or maybe you can get where the answer is. It's up to you how you are using the calculator. All the best. We'll see in the next video. If you need any technical helps, I'm happy to help you. Just comment your requirement. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel.